Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time where we'll go through every adventure side activity in the game. Today we're still on the EDZ, the European Dead Zone, and we're gonna do our next adventure here in the Gulch. This little open area where the Cabal have a, a bit of a foothold, a bit of a foothold. But we do have actually two adventures in this area. And the first one is right over here, reversing the polarity. The Cabal tend to use a single technology to power everything in their arsenal. Take advantage of that design flaw to send them a message. And that will actually reward us with an upgrade point. Ah, it's you. Ikora will be pleased. Guardian, I need you to test a theory. Find a power core in a disabled Red Legion tank. Install it in a supply console and stand back. A power core from a disabled tank. Well, the tank is right over there, so that should be easy. Uh, let's get on the Sparrow. Um, I'm back using my Titan, because uh, we're at a new recording at the moment. So we're uh, still doing this and no longer the Hunter. So let's retrieve the power core. Okay, I have it in my hands. Um, what do I do with it? Up there, apparently. So back with the Titan, back with everything we've uh, seen in the first episode of Adventure Time. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. I can, I can actually punch people with this, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's put it... Where do I need to put it? Where do I need to put it? Do I need to put it in this console? Yeah, sabotage. There we go. Stand back, they said. Well, that was as good as advertised. The Red Legion has brought a new weapon online. One powerful enough to threaten the farm and everything around it. Okay then. So they brought the new weapon online, but what the hell did I just do? I just sabotaged one of their generators, I suppose, with by using the power core of that tank downstairs. Well, not downstairs, but down there. Um, ooh, box. Box, let's open that. Uh, I've changed up my weapons a bit. I'm using annual skate as my energy revolver, this lovely thing. Oh, what the hell? Okay, hi. Jesus. Hi. Which is a very powerful uh, energy revolver. And then we have the Rat King, an exotic sidearm used to... Uh, well, you can actually kill people with it, as per usual, so with most weapons. But the special thing about the Rat King is that it gets stronger if there are multiple people nearby using it. And if you kill something with it, maybe uh, something I can demonstrate right now, if I don't get sniped in the face. If I kill something with it and then reload... I'm actually invisible for a few seconds, so the sniper can't do shit. Hi. Which is uh, very nice. Um, but get to the fire base, because the Cabal apparently have a weapon that could threaten everything we know. Must not be something very important if it's in an adventure, but oh. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the public event starting. I'm just going to ignore that. While you're in transit, I'll try and fill in the gaps. Back in the city militia... We used to see the Fallen try to repurpose technology from other races and fail rather explosively. Conversations with Devrim surfaced a memory from my studies. The Cabal are made up of many different races. They have always struggled to adapt to a single technology. We never seem to be finished with this base. Where do we start? I'm not sure I understand. That new weapon is an artillery cannon, too big for you to blow up. But you could exploit that weakness. Then I suggest you force a maintenance window. A maintenance window? Power cores. Sold. Okay, so this thing in the middle is a giant, well, uh, cannon. And we need to blow it up by using the power cores from, I suppose, tanks in the neighborhood? Here we go, invisible again. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking, right? Search for access. Because this is a pretty big base, and it's actually never used in the story. Strangely enough. Firebase Hades. Uh, okay. What the? Did I just... Oh, it's over there. Let's, uh, go past a few cabal. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Sticky in the face. 
he can't see me right now, so... Hi! Okay. So, maintenance. Maintenance. It's pointing me inside and then back outside. Let's see here. That looks like an important terminal here. Uh, use the access codes. I don't know where I got those access codes, but here we go. Okay, munition systems unlocked. Now to expose the power cores, I need to override the maintenance schedule. Artillery firing mechanisms overloaded. So are those those three thingies? Okay, I'm just... Ow. Okay, just have to stand here. Firebase Hades is under guardian attack. Yes, indeed. Hi! Oh god. Oh god. Dogs. Oh god. Snipers. 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 Shield. Oh. Uh, dogs. 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 Yeah, fuck off. Oh, I'm being helped. That's great. So we need... Oh, oh, um, um, there's an opening. So there's an opening for those cores over there. So if I... Yes, power core. Now need to dunk that in here somewhere. Huh. Oh, I just need to dump it in the power supply here. Sabotage. This is cool. Yeah, there goes one. So now we need to go back in the middle, guard it while I'm being attacked, and continue moving, I suppose. Okay, power coast core has been exposed. Let's grab that one. And keep going. Where do I need to put it? So those panels are just... That's the same panel I put it in before, I think. Unless that was this one. Never mind. Don't ask too many questions. Let's put this glowing orb in the glowing hole. There we go. Boom. Wow. Epilepsy attack. Hey. Hey. That's my spot. There we go. Kills and sunspots. And everybody's mad at me. I think it's already exposed, right? Yeah. Nope, I want my revenge. There we go. And then let's get another power core and sabotage this cannon once and for all. That is definitely another panel. Whew. This is rather a rather lengthy process. Uh, sabotage. Just plug it in there. There we go. Boom. Now what? That artillery cannon will be offline for minutes. I mean weeks. I think. The cabal never were very good at details. Good thing for us. This is another step to ending them for good. Well done, Guardian. It's not gone, though. But I guess good job. We never, well, we couldn't really explode this thing because otherwise, this is still a public space, so everybody should see the cannon at all times. So yeah, the best possible solution was put it on maintenance for a few weeks. That's a very interesting solution. Um, but with that, we have another adventure completed. A few war dogs shot in the face. And we learned how to become invisible for a few seconds. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, see you guys on the next Adventure Time.